do you see the option yeah cool hi sagar welcome um i would love to you know first have your introduction what uh this travisi do and what do you do at travisi um just give me a little brief about what your role and uh, the company does so uh travisi is like you know uh, we are a online ota platform uh travel domain we are catering to the middle east market and asia pacific uh are like you know uh, we are in the business for last 10 years and hopefully means that would we survive pandemic as well um nice right so uh, uh means our main products are like you know holiday packages so prior to pandemic like we are you know marketing or we are having our product key product like holidayme.com where you know uh, customers can come and book their holiday package and it was like you know open for global market okay. and uh, then there was like you know one of the key product was like umrami.com which is catering to the umrah pilgrimage like middle east so um, basically whoever is traveling to the umrah makkah madina they used to uh, book a hotel or a package to us only correct and so they can they get get a visa so the business was very good and uh, you know uh, we are one of the like you know we are holding like more than 60% uh, market of middle east correct. so that uh, yeah so now uh, coming back like last year we did hajj project as well which was like one of the uh, big thing my role in the company is like you know i'm the director of engineering i'm looking at the process uh, part engineering part like you know build uh, software development life cycle ci cd and uh, repository management then back end tools so how big is your tech team uh, sagar yeah you know uh, there were like two numbers pre pandemic post pandemic <laughs> so like you know uh, before pandemic like we were like uh, around 100 plus people uh, uh in the tech team sure and uh, apa, apart from that option operations and including like 3 to 400 people uh, all together uh, across five countries and, and now we, uh, you know in pune we have like in you know, a 60 people out of which like 30 plus are like a tech team and the other departments finance it and other people are there Correct. so team uh, if you are asking about like a tech team like you know uh, it's like 35 people now so uh, could you just you know brief us a little bit about your tech stack the kind of tools that you are using and the kind of um, tools that you are building in general so you know we understand how advanced or what kind of structure um uh, uh, the, the kind of tools that you are very well versed with and the kind of tools that you would want that this is not available in the market we had to build it kind of a situation and stuff like that so um, our key stack is like uh, microsoft.net uh, and aws okay. and at the back end we use mongodb mm. um, and mostly this 100% infrastructure is on aws uh, serverless architecture uh then like c sharp programming language and then uh, html and uh, css uh, asp.net core is the front end part and then uh, at the back end we were using like you know uh, mongodb previously we used to have like windows forms and all those things are uh, there but uh, mostly in the serverless application like lambda and aws so that was the overall tech stack uh, basically the if you ask about the product thing we we build like you know the front end customer facing website is there so it's b2c completely built into asp.net core mvc okay. and uh, at the back end we have like asp.net web apis for that apart from that you know just b2c website is the one part but um, that needs a lot of back end tools Correct. so to manage the uh, manage the admin panel access panels uh, then uh, reports dashboards uh so for that purpose we we previously used to build same things into uh, mvc applications only so um, let's say packaging system is there like we want to sell a packages so uh, we built uh, packages online like uh, a travel expert sitting at the back end identifying the itineraries and composing the packages 
then integration with the third party hotels and then you know building that package and publishing it on the websites Correct. with the different rates and for the different dates so Correct. for that purpose we we built uh, back end systems uh, last year okay. i mean uh, prior to drona uh, we used to work with retool which was uh, one of the key thing uh, and what happened like this kind of uh, means uh, shift of you know using something out of the box for building back end applications was not there initially we have to engage tech team itself on to you know uh, building the back end tools and um, the key business is to sell the website or the sell the products on the front end website but uh, most of sometimes most of the energy is invested into building back end tools as well correct so coming to this journey like we we were exploring like you know some rapid application development tools where um, you know we can quickly bind it through the database directly and build the things uh, as per our back end uh, team required um, previously i used to work with windows forms I, I used to quickly build drag and drop things and connect with the ADO controls and build those things. Then um, eventually like there was a need to have something like that. And last year we, we used to retool for that purpose. Uh, and we realized that, you know, this thing works like, you know, uh, we don't have to uh, be hundred percent perfect on everything. You can just prototype things, collaborate the data and, share it across the API so that, you know, at least front end website should start selling or doing business. Yeah, right. So then we realized that thing. And then um, we are, you know, again, exploring, like we need more features, which are like, you know, uh, a dynamic UI themes, uh, the more, more control over towards like, you know, building um, means exposing APIs to the tools. Okay. So what happens like the same APIs are used on the website or same build developers are do, doing or building an API, but uh, some API should work with the uh, backend system and some should work with the uh, frontend system. Right. So authorization framework was there, which is means our CTO emphasized on having, you know, centralized authorization system, which should work same way to uh, connect to any database. Right. And then, you know, uh, that was the feature that we are expecting from uh, the platform but it was not there and then again there was a need to re-explore the market to identify who can provide us and then you know uh, we engaged with Tala and had a discussion about building these kind of things and seriously you know uh, we got that thing with whatever customization we want it was exactly there like you know uh, Miss Touchwood and it was delivered in time it's, we are going live on Monday uh -huh. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that was like, you know, asking some third party company to build it for us, like based on our requirement and then, you know, working with them, explaining them what is our challenges uh, and, you know, getting it done. It was a great thing. So basically, uh, if I have to understand, you wanted a centralized authorization system, which was according, which was built a feature, which was already in the roadmap and quickly pushed for you uh, earlier. No. Is it customized? So, yes, yes. So what happened is like, you know, uh, we uh, we asked uh, uh, Drona team to, you know, we explore, uh, explain them like how our authorization system works. And uh, we asked them that uh, we don't want to connect to any database directly, no matter whether it is a third party tool or our tool. And even there was an IT security policy where, you know, every database is behind the uh, VPC or a firewall. Correct. So we won't be able to directly connect it to any access system. So we, we said that, you know, whatever we want, like we want it in this way only. So there was a partly a feature was there, um, but still it was not fulfilling our requirement. Then we shared our, whatever our authorization flow and we asked them to, you know, uh, build it for us. So that it took some time to, you know, build it. And uh, then, you know, it was like back and forth happened a lot of discussions happened like uh, we spent like hours together like this is not working then we configured an environment for a drona team to work on our cloud subscription and they explored like what is issue coming where the values are missing and then they figure it out so the, that feature was like it was a i know that you know initially when we discussed it was a small feature but uh, it took like you know uh, huge efforts from both sides to complete this feature
correct correct no i understand i am so glad to hear this that uh, it is now exactly according to your requirements uh, could you just also brief us about what kind of uh, tool or a custom tool that you have built um, for your teams and how do you see that you are going to build more such tools i mean i understand you don't want to you know stick to just one use case it is it could be for your say uh, the team which plans all the packages but it could also be for uh say operations team it could also be for your finance team it could also be for your marketing team so yes. any any um, use cases that come to your mind yes. say, this is what we have already done and this is what we also want to do so currently you know we build like uh, more than eight nine tools on that okay. which are operational in production okay. uh, packaging ma package management system itself is like a used tool which has like you know internally depend on three four more tools like you know a, a single holiday package contains like hotels flights and activities so for that purpose even those are internally a different tools then there is a rate management system um, that was built for that thing then promotion management so you know you can go and apply promo code so marketing team needs that kind of a tool where you know they should run a promotion campaign and they should create some promo code for certain validity and then uh api should consume it and they should use then there was like you know as i told you that the authorization system itself built so that there were like you know the team is building apis and we have to bring those apis under that authorization system right so for that management like for uh, authorization management there is another tool marketing team needs to tools then call center okay so if you, if you know that like salesforce or uh, zo these are pretty um, cost intensive tools and probably you know uh, whatever features they want like we can uh, whatever features our call center team wants we can build it with the dronati uh, tools so we are already working on you know back end call center operations team where you know we are integrating um, the booking management the customer engagement uh, then review management system so these are the things in the pipeline so we are already working on those things fantastic so you are integrating various systems and you have already rolled out eight applications yes eight nine eight nine applications and so your team is making it building it what kind of uh, tech skills they have so they are basically dot net programmers itself so uh, basically uh, though it is a uh, any low code platform or anything the programming or the building logic should be there so the core team is um, you know uh, which is working on that is a uh, .net engineers only um, they um, they create our apis uh, whatever a drona uh, system or ui wants to integrate like show the data for that purpose they build the apis based on whatever requirements are there and they itself uh, build a ui and they create the tools so okay. it's like you know uh, peer Uh, but the thing is like you know um, this platform helps us like we don't need like in you know, 8 9 years experience guys to work on that thing a beginner or a 2 3 year experienced guy can quickly learn that thing and implement it so that was a major advantage of having like you know such platform with us like rather than you know building or um, um we don't need too much experience to work on this thing so and how how long was the time frame to deliver this kind of applications by an engineer so and i understand the developer capacity has increased but could you you know share some light on the time frame for rolling out those applications maybe the first one took time but over a period of time now eight applications are yes there. yes yes so first one took time um, even there was a learning curve uh, i can say the means uh, previously we were working with some different platform so initially team was bit skeptical about like you know uh, using drona uh, but uh, once we started like you know how the controls work what is the behavior what is the data binding things are there how to inject the flows and all those things then like you know the development time itself reduced from 8 days to 2 days oh that's and yeah so if suppose if you estimate something that uh, if you have to work for 8 days that work uh, can be done in two days or in drona uh, application so that was like you know you can say 60% of reduction in uh, efforts from both the sides Sec secondary you know the way screens are built the flow and uh, the interface looks 
which are like uh, you know it looks quite professional you don't have to do too much things into that simply drag drop and bind the data so even the the uh, product owners the consumers they don't feel anything like you know it was like very ordinary or something like that they are very happy to use those things the experience that you are able to deliver is fantastic for the fantastic yes. fantastic so um, sagar uh, tell me what feedback you want to give us anything that you want us to improve on thona team should have this feature or that training whatever it could be whatever comes to your mind or probably yeah so uh, considering a feedback like you know we we were sharing the feedbacks time to time uh, so team already had that thing then uh, support is very excellent i i have a, like very positive feedback about the support because when once you decide to adopt some third party platform uh, whatever you have a technical skills but if you don't have a support on that thing you won't be able to adapt to it quickly and uh, i was not there every time looking with my team to you know resolve any issues i just uh, uh, injected the technology i decided i like, decided the roadmap and given it to the team but after that you know i was very happy that they, whenever they schedule a call team was like available they were fixing the issues and um, things whether initially i faced an issue with the cloud platform like it is means i requested them to host it in mumbai or somewhere in india or nearby um, but you know that was the thing like currently the platform is hosted in us or somewhere in other region so we are facing latency so eventually we migrated to on premise so we are using enterprise plan and we migrated to on premise but somewhere i feel that you know uh, the technology or you should help us to reduce the cost not to increase it okay. going uh, going on prem already added like 2000 dollars to my bill okay so um, that is a kind of a red flag that i can raise because if we are you know um, you know that this back end rules or something like that maybe sometimes in future the things change something else who is more competitive or mm, uh, can provide like the team like us keeps exploring the better options That because is. as a director my job is to you know optimize on the costs as well of course so uh, i requested team like you know if you are means based on your clients you should be at that region so that you should provide the low latency so that not that didn't happen like uh, i got the feedback that you know it's in the pipeline but eventually it means my team is you know suffering from the latency issues so i have to um, take a call and you know uh, move on to on prem but definitely it is added a cost to my bill i i, I definitely take that feedback back, uh, back again to the team and that is the purpose of this call uh, to understand uh what are you liking how many developers are working on the platform currently sagar for you three people only three people and yeah. how many um, more such applications you have in roadmap anything yeah, that you so plan it's ongoing process like okay, you know the course. the way things are evolving uh, you you always need a applications you have like you know small small requirements where you don't have to engage your core team you just need to make sure that okay this data is available with me i just need to plot something and give it to him i'm i'm working with this company for 10 years and i'm every year i'm building like you know these kind of 10 20 applications of course so i i am i learn that you know this is not going to go away anymore of course of course so suppose only you are building 20 applications in a year i mean of course there will be core applications and your core technology on all existing applications which you meant be kind of upgrading and updating probably what percentage of the 20 you would now be using this tool and doing it i'm just trying to understand um how is the usage going to go and then probably you know kind of understand what is the best kind of an pricing offer which customers would love to uh see, currently i um, means uh, see basically i like to tell you that currently we are selling a, a b2c platform we are opening a, ourselves into the market again but we are also going as a saas platform okay okay and we are means we are going to be the saas for a uh, travel domain 
Correct. Okay. So like we are going to bring uh, the agents, the travel companies on board. And for them, we are not going to have like, you know, something like a front end facing website. Right. We'll have something like this where they can authenticate with our system or AD. We'll bring it to them and we can quickly, you know, uh, build an application for them and give it to them as per their need. So we are miss currently is a B2C, but by the time, definitely, you know, we are going for a SaaS platform and there are huge requirements for like, you know, such tools. So what they want to have their own employee management and office management, their own backend data systems are there. They want something which is built quickly with these kind of uh, things. So I can't go for a specific numbers, but yes, definitely there are like, you know, the usage going to go up um, and for company, we are having like uh, currently whatever seeing, but the more the volume will come, the call center team is going to come into picture. The promotions team, the global teams are going to come into picture where they, where they need applications for their requirement. If you say a simple case, like, you know, we manage our own content for the package. So now there is no uh, centralized uh, translation management system for us where, you know, uh, Arabic translation, French translation of the same content. So there is a, a need of having like these things. So, okay, built a tool for this one. There is English translation available. Allow them to translate it to Arabic and website should show it. So this is a simple use case that I'm telling, but this kind of requirement suddenly comes. Correct, correct. No, I understand. I am so glad that somebody, a tool like yours will be a SaaS tool for a travel industry and it can be like the next Shopify or somebody who wants mm -hmm. to build up a travel uh, shop, they can come to Travisi and get their shop. Yes, yes, yes. Get their, their experiences Absolutely. and stuff like that. Really good roadmap ahead. Um, probably if I have to gauge from your answer, I don't know, there's no specific number, but if I say, is 40% a safe number to say that, hey, we want to focus 60% on building newer tools from scratch with complete control. But, you know, 40% of those applications, we can definitely build on a tool like DronaHQ and plug into our SaaS system. You can say like, you know, 100%. <laughs> okay. I don't want to say like 40% or something because if you know that, like you can build it quickly, you have already gone through the learning curve, you have an expertise. See, business uh, demands things like, you know, the way customer changes their requirement, they demand anything. But if we can showcase them, this is what it is. Currently, we have it. So, means going forward, we don't see any option for a Drona HQ for tool building or anything like this. So, some of our customers now, how they see um, the ROI is, they say that now my one developer, at the cost of one developer engineer that I... Uh, higher into my team. Now he can deliver the output for eight engineers. So that is the benefit yes. that they are facing. So um, do you see something like that now, now hiring requirements for your team or for the engineering team that you want to uh, add to your team? Now it has gone down. Say that, hey, I don't need so many. Now within this tool, using this tool, I might have cut down or something like that. If you could think or ponder upon such kind of an uh, ROI or value, that will be great. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, I already mentioned to you that, you know, if you if we committed something to deliver in eight days, we are delivering it in two days. Correct. So eventually it is like, you know, working eight people together instead of that one guy can deliver it in two days, right? So the same thing means that is the same impression that I also have. Like, I don't have to have too many people uh, working on this kind of thing developers um, one developer who's with the full skill set can uh, okay. manage the things so um, yeah the same thing for me fantastic any any comments for others peers uh, engineering managers out there to adopt such tools there are a lot of you know myths and comprehensions yet in the industry people are exploring they have multiple local tools in their organization and uh, what would sagar say to those engineering managers out there your peers out there see uh, ultimately it boils down to the business needs so if the business says that they want something quickly there is no option other than you know uh, having such kind of platform handy Second thing is the support from the team. Whenever, you know, why there is a reluctance in going for something which is uh, not there in the market. 
So they have to try things and the support is the only thing that managers need. He should be, you know, 100% confident enough that, okay, if I stuck up somewhere, the team is available, I can book a call, I can, and they can explain me and then it is getting sorted out. So that is the main thing, uh, but definitely, yes, you know, uh, the platform like Drona with the support team, you know, definitely you can try for that and it will definitely help them to, you know, reduce their cost um, on talent or something like that. And that's it. It's very straightforward. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time and your insights. We'll definitely take this back. I would love to connect back anytime you have any other feedback. Of course, Tala is working with you and the support team. Uh, if anytime you would love to reach out, uh, feel free to connect. Sorry, am I audible? It was a learning for us, but ultimately with the business happy, nothing like that, right? Right. <laughs> you better know you are also business people. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Sagar. Thank you so much for your inputs. Uh, happy to have you on board with us. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, uh, but after that, the, the journey don't end. There, there are issues. So definitely, you know, I'm going to take it in touch with the team. Don't tell them that, you know, that everything is good. Like uh, there are issues and I need them to be fixed. <laughs> Absolutely. It is an ongoing. The best part is iterativeness is there. Agility is there. And yes, yes, yes. Uh, even we, uh, since we go on gram, right, uh, we feel like we keep getting updates. Like this thing, bus bug is fixed, this bug is fixed. So without, you know, asking them, there are small, small issues they are fixing. Which is a very, you know, uh, good to have thing with a team like Trona. Of course. The of product course. will be happy to hear this comments from you. And uh, thank you so much for making our day. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.